Hey, <laughs> what's going on you blood vessels? It's Poxy here, and today we are going to play some good old-fashioned neutral blood. Uh, this is a very basic neutral blood list that is, of course, running the Tina, because we're seeing a lot of neutral on ladder right now. In fact, today alone, I've ran into neutral shadow, neutral haven, neutral sword, three or four neutral forest neutral forest is everywhere all of a sudden like i knew it was starting to like get a little more popular but oh my gosh it's just everywhere everywhere so yeah we are going to play um some neutral bloodcraft let's try it out this is the phantom cat build uh pretty cut and paste um nothing strange here i don't believe phantom cat and baphomets just kind of speed things along Razor Claws finishes things off. Good old Hector. You guys have seen this before. You know the deal. Let's get in there and try it out. <clears throat> I've played this deck plenty. Uh, no stranger to piloting it. It's, again, pretty simple, especially with all neutral decks. Uh, it's just find the curve, play the cards, hit the face. <laughs> Keep the board uh, relatively under control. And just uh, swing in the face. Hey! We're going to get a victory reward here. We might. I uh, haven't seen one of those in a little bit. That's pretty cool. All right, so this hand is the dick. Holy cow. Let's get this all. Just all of it. Give me a whole bunch of one drops. Neat. Not, <laughs> not what I asked for. Okay, that's quite all right. We can make this work. Um, so we're going second, which isn't good. I don't think I've ever seen this card before. Like, ever. Neat. All right, that's cool. Something different. I'm guessing it's frog, maybe. Um, oh, bladed hedgehog. Love this little dude. Wow. Wow. Good synergy there. Um, all right. So let's see. He's just gonna kill Lyria. I guess we just pull. We just drop the bath and probably get another bath. There's a phantom cat. I tend to always get the Baphomets just one after another with this deck. It seems like it never gets those phantom cats, and that's wow. Okay, all right. What does this do with you? It's at the end of your turn? What? <laughs> he got big quick. Luckily, let's get the animated one. Luckily, we have a ton of angel words in our hand, which is uh, quite unfortunate for any sword player, because primarily you're going to see just a bunch of uh, little guys with tiny little butts. So angel word's going to be picking them off left and right, just like that. However, that is a 4-1. This is a this is amazing. I I am absolutely thrilled with what I'm up against here. Holy cow. So let's just, we, we're going to have to flood, right? We're just going to flood the board. And um, yeah, let's just, we'll just go face and call it. I'm not even going to evolve. I don't really see any need to. Um, is he going to surprise me or something? Like, am I going to just get hit out of nowhere? There's Gawain. Okay. Not typically you see him. That's pretty cool. This guy's playing an interesting deck that I don't think I've ever seen before. It's quite beneficial that he pulled both of these front lines, whatever this is. Again, I've never even seen this before. Jeez, man, they get big fast, don't they? All right, it's an easy clear. Um, okay, so this turn, I think we are going to evolve and pick this one off. You see, and now he's out of steam. Uh, he's going to have to swing really quick next turn. Um, we are going to... Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll just Razory Claw it. And then drop another Angel of the Word here. And then we just do a bunch of face damage. And now he has no more threats, and I still have two evolve points. I think this game's pretty much over at this point, but what a neat and interesting deck. He might have something that just throws me off. I can't think of anything off the top of my head other than Albert that's going to swing heavily. It's another Gawain. Wow. What a draw for this interesting, fun deck. <laughs> and another Angel of the Word. Yeah, this, <laughs> these angels have been his demise man poor dude i applaud you trying i really do we'll go ahead and drop the grimnir just to be safe pop him for another one yeah he's going down really fast and he's not going to be able to get past this grimnir i don't believe i mean if he's got something that he can turn this game around with uh i'd be quite impressed but we're not even going to see alice we're not going to see phantom cat 
Um, I mean, I'll play the Phantom Cat next turn if he lets me. Oh, nah, it's gonna happen. What a cool and fun deck. Well, this was a fun game. It was pretty quick, um, but it's just a short little video. Sorry about it being so late. I know I typically get this in a couple of hours earlier. Check that out. And we got we got Arissa's icon or whatever they're called. I don't know Avatar. I think I'll never use it. <laughs> <laughs> not that she's awesome, but I just, I'm not going to use it. But anyways, I'm glad that you guys got to see that. That was really fun and a very interesting take on a, a sword deck that's neutral. Um, it pretty much works like that every game, to be honest with you. Um, it, you typically see an Alice, I would say, uh, but not every game, I guess. And we didn't even need her. We had so many angels, man. It was just a barrage, uh, just a hail of arrows on this end. So um, that was really fun. As always, I appreciate you coming by. Please feel free to leave any comments. Um, uh, again, I'm always open to constructive criticism. I thank you for watching the video, and I hope you have a pleasant evening. Thanks again. We'll see you next time. Bye.